เกาเลยก็ตรงนี้นะโอ้คนเชียวจะทำอะไรก็เห็นนะสมุทรสุขโภชาติอยู่แอกก็ Hey everyone, Astronaut98 here talking about Pathfinder. And again, my editor put in the wrong Pathfinder. Let's see if we can't fix this here. Uh, should be this Pathfinder, the one for all mankind. Yes, I built a functional replica. And no, it does not fly all the way to the moon unless you refuel. That was something that was not mentioned in the show. I cannot add that much delta D to this thing. I'm sorry. I'm dealing with the laws of physics here. You can only deal with what hand you're dealt. I mean, literally. All right. Now that we've separated from the C-5 carrier aircraft, we have permission because our guidance has converged to light up the nuclear engine. Boom. There we go. And spraying that beautiful nuclear fuel all over the American Southwest. I'm kidding. It was launched over the ocean. I'm pretty sure. At least this flight was. And what's this? An anomaly has appeared. It appears to be something from another universe. Ooh, let's rendezvous and figure out what it is. Now let's get close and see what we've got here. Hmm. All right. I'll give it to you. The recording of what the Kerbal said. I have just left the hatch and I'm using the MMU to maneuver over the vehicle. It appears to be some sort of manned spacecraft. Very, very small. Does not have a cargo capability. At least not that I can see. The top hatch seems to be open. And it appears to be missing into the ejector seat. All right, there's crumple marks on the sides, and some of the RCS thrusters appear to be crushed from the inside. All right, moving down towards the engine area. All these engines look like they are in really bad shape, but they're not uh, too far ahead of our current technology. All right, uh, heading back to the vehicle now. All right, now that they did their reconnaissance, they decided to keep the The Kreskis from getting their hands on this vehicle, they decided to destroy it with the missiles in Pathfinder's payload bay. But it didn't work. Something happened. It is now going away, away, and it appears to have bounced back to the universe it came from. Before we land, we're going to do a armament unload. Is a procedure. Now I entered upside down because I entered a little too late, so I figured I'd try and bleed off as much speed as possible. Now this thing can land at low speeds. We're talking like 40 meters per second. I'm I'm rather impressed it was able to land at that speed. But if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I release a new video every week. Uh, what happens next? Leave ideas below so maybe I can get a video. All right. I am the astronaut. Let's fly.